anyone who's successful will go through some sort of process of imagining and planning and you know visualizing and thinking about how they're going to do something whether they're a champion athlete whether they're a, a performer whether they're a business uh, ceo you know everybody does some strategic planning mm -hmm. now when you do that in a very relaxed state of mind it's pretty similar to self hypnosis mm -hmm. so for example say you want to make a creative business decision it's a good idea to get relaxed and imagine this is how i do any goal setting right is mm. I go out into the future in my mind and I imagine what it's going to be like what will I see what will I hear how will I feel when I've achieved my goal mm -hmm. then I do um, what we call an ecology check so ecology is really the study of consequences and so I go in achieving this goal is it going to affect my health or am I going to upset people or is there too much risk or whatever so I first of all check the the integrity of the goal then I also think about what's going to get in the way. You know, what's um, going to stop me so I can head those things off at the pass. And then what I do is I, I back engineer. I go, well, I've achieved my goal. What happened just before that? What happened just before that? What happened just before that? Until I'm back here to now. Mm -hmm. And now I've got a clear pathway to see mm -hmm. my goal. This is why most people fail at New Year's resolutions because they're not goals, they're wishes. You know, they go, oh, I wish I'd lost 30 pounds or I wish I could quit smoking or I wish or whatever. You know, if all we had to do was wish, we'd all be living in mansion houses, you know, <laughs> with fabulous lovers and jewelry and driving big cars or whatever it is that, you know, people wish for. So um, I, I suppose when I'm helping somebody using hypnotherapy, and particularly it's self-hypnosis, mm -hmm. it's a tool. It's, a, it's a, something I use each day Firstly, for relaxation, right? So I, I have ADHD, I think, real fast. And um, one of the things is that me, means that I can, I, I, I can get stuff done real quick and mm -hmm. I can think about several things simultaneously. Mm -hmm. But if I'm sitting there on the couch and I'm all wound up because you know, my brain is going <laughs> too fast, you know, it annoys my wife. So what I do is I slow my mind down and I get calm. And I feel real good, yeah. So a lot of people use hypnosis, self-hypnosis, to be creative, to plan things. They use it to sometimes just make a change. They'll just put a suggestion in and go, hey, I want to stop drinking vodka. Or, hey, I want to stop smoking. Or, and it, sometimes it can be as quick as that, as simple as that. Right? Mm. And then other times you have to visualize it over and over again. You know, I remember once talking to uh, an sort of, um, Olympic gold medalist athlete. And uh, he said, you know, I'm, I'm not really into all this, you know, psychology, sports psychology stuff, Paul, you know, I mean, I think it's all a bit woo-woo. I said, do you ever think about a race before you run it? He went, every single step, over and over and over again. I went, well, that's kind of what I do and <laughs> yeah. what people like me do, you know. Um, when I go into corporations sometimes, they'll say to me, we really like you to do some motivational work, but perhaps maybe no hypnosis. And I, so I say, do you ever go off into the future in your management sessions and imagine what your what your products and services will be like in the future and what your competitors will be doing? Yes, yes, strategic planning. I go, it's kind of the same as self-hypnosis, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just usually when we bring the H word in, people, they, they worry that perhaps it's mind control, but actually it's about giving you more control over your mind. You know, if you mm -hmm. wake in the middle of the night and you're all wound up about something, wouldn't it be neat to be able to slow your thoughts down, get relaxed and just go back to sleep? You know, if you're about to give a performance, again, um, some of my friends who are, you know, rock stars or movie stars, uh, they, you know, before they go on the set or before they walk on the stage, they put themselves into a relaxed, alert kind of so they, they call it the zone or, you know, musicians call it being in the groove, yeah? Mm -hmm. And again, that's a form of self-hypnosis, being able to go into those peak states of performance when you want to.